Made in heaven, J Jolie, old man, good grief, yari yari dasi, good grief, deal. I am Jotaro Kujo. On the grand scale of the multiverse, the world once won became infinite. The once unified world fragmented into countless realities. The multiverse spread and divided the souls of the first world into infinite ones. That being said, the souls were divided and were reincarnated into a new people. From the death of the hero Jotaro Kujo and Jolin Kujo came a new set of universes created by Puchi. One that constantly tries saving itself from Puchi over and over and over again. Jotaro was reborn as a new being, a being called Miguel, a man of hope, a star man, a messiah of sorts, a reincarnate of one's was, the destiny of one's blood. Shh, spoke a voice, an eerie one at that. We need you to stay still, please, it'll be over. I promise, my dear, dear boy, I promise that this will only hurt for a sh very short and simple second, and you will find bliss very, very soon. Please, I beg of you, my little star man. Ah, uh, help, <laughs> help, screamed a young boy. Poor boy, screaming, screaming, screaming in agony. The Lokakaka is set. Begin extraction. Go on with the soul switch. The poor, poor boy. Strapped upon some sort of bed along with two others next to him. One in a fetal position. The other one strapped as well. All of them, all three of them, screaming. The Lokakaka is set, begin extraction, go on with the soul switch, spoke the voice, over and over, while the boy screamed, Mommy! <laughs> In horror and agony, he opens his eyes. And then he entered reality once more. Then again, what was this reality I speak of? It's quite a horrifying one, actually. He opened his eyes, walked away from the piles of bodies. He may, was forced to lay on his weak. He speaks, hi, Nako. Passing by the bloodied graffiti of the walls. Kept walking, entered the calendaria, open 24 7. And there he meets an old calendaria uh, person. <laughs> Give me a good reason to not to call the flirt. The cups. I'm counting on it, he replied. BT Dubs, nice calendaria. I'm trying to lure someone here. How are you now? I have my reasons. What makes you so special? How do you know I speak? Balut. Huh? There is Balut on the counter, said the man. I, the fertilized duck fetus I'm selling? Uh, why? You want it? You gotta pay for it. I'll pay you another day, he replied. Now you're robbing me? I'm still calling the police. I'll do it. I don't care. All I want is the balut. Plus, you killed three people outside, psychopath. The fact that you don't care seems that you're the psychopath. Why them? Because I reap what society sows. I'm the goddamned reaper. Miguel Jojo, at your fucking service. 
In other words, I clean up society's loose ends, I give chemo to its cancer, I kill its social cancer, and my solution is downright murder. He smirked with a bloody smile on his face. Suddenly, the cops are here. Taas mo kamay mo! Nakatulala ho! Ate ka tayo ito! Sir, sorry, late reply, said one cop. Pero ibaba mo ang balut! While Miguel Jojo just kept eating the balut in his hand. Hoy! Makinig ka! said the other cop. Conversation went on. Why the shit would I put down a duck embryo? You think I'm gonna be the shit out of you with the eggshells? Idiot. Ano daw? Shit Englishero. Di ata marunong magtagalog eh. Dudes, if you won't let me finish my duck fetus, I'll shove his head up his ass. Ano? Tagalog? The man growls. <sighs> I don't like your tone. Tagalog! Ilalagay ko yung putang inang ulo mo sa loob ng kanyang puwet hanggang ikay sisigaw na parang putang inang aso. The cops laugh at him, howling in laughter. Aswang! Aswang daw! <laughs> Tudo ba yun? <laughs> si Raulo, fuck you dude, Inglesero! Taas mo kamay mo, gago! Oh, how'd I know, you ask? And slowly, Miguel Jojo transforms into an aswang. A horrifying creature, wide eyes, a dog-like face, street dog-like face, a prehensile tongue appears from his fanged mouth. His snout gapes open similarly to a disgusting worm of some sorts, a leech perhaps. Oh shit, barilin mo siya! They shoot at him. But then, as the lady decided to leave, to duck, he spoke, whispered a few words. Star Platinum, the world. And suddenly, when the lady was about to leave, all the bullets were gone. Oh my god, my ass! Huh, who's speaking English now, asshole? Said Miguel Jojo. Funny, since your head's up his ass right now. Put your hands up, Miguel. You're under arrest, dumbass. Spoke a beautiful woman. Standing in Jojo posing right before him. Hello everyone, this is uh, the first episode of, well, basically what's supposed to be was the movie, but I don't have the materials for that yet. I'll make it a movie one day, shot by shot from this. But what do you think? That's the first episode and the opening of this uh, kind of like movie, perhaps. And basically, it needs a lot of work, I, I, gotta, I gotta say. But I think there are pretty good shots here, here and there. But I believe that I could make it better. Now, we, we get introduced to the first character of the series, Miguel Jojo. And his, um, well, a person who seemingly knows him, Antonia Zeppeli. Now, these two characters, well, they're pretty fun to watch. So just keep watching to see what where this goes to. And yeah. Every scene in this um, scene, in this episode, I mean, it has a purpose. And basically, you just have to be, keep paying attention. Well, thank you for watching. That was the first episode of the series. Thank you. See ya!